Another case of racial profiling has surfaced and this time it was in Frankfurt, Germany. An Indian woman was allegedly asked to strip by security officials at the Frankfurt airport prompting external affairs minister Sushma Suraj to seek a report from the Indian Council General Concern. A tweet came following news report based on the women's Facebook post in which she alleged she was asked to strip at the airport while she was on her way to Iceland from Bengaluru on March 29th. In her post, she said, We were traveling to Iceland from India via Frankfurt with our four-year-old daughter when I was asked to move aside for this random check. No explanations were offered. I was taken into a room and was asked to lift my dress, take it off so that I could be checked to make sure I wasn't carrying anything under my clothes. This is uh, Shruti Basapa who alleged uh, this uh, incident on the Facebook. I'm, I am always uh, the chosen one for random security checks, pat downs, baggage check. Let's take you into a room for a closer pat down, etc. Of course, it's random. Of course, it is not because I am brown. But this happens every time, every single time, she alleged. Executive at uh, Gaurav Savan joining us on the phone line for more on this. Uh, uh, Gaurav, uh, you know, we have uh, heard, have seen numerous cases of uh, Indians or people of the South Asian descent uh, uh, being, uh, you know, uh, singled out for uh, these, these sort of, uh, uh, of random checks. This woman says that she is, this is not the first time she has gone through that. Now, the minister, uh, Sushma Swaraj, who is extremely active on Twitter, acting right jumping right into it asking for a report uh, what is the mea now expecting to do with issues like these so in this case uh, after shruti basappa uh, made uh, wrote this on her facebook and india today carried uh, the story uh, external affairs minister sushma swaraj she took cognizance of the india today report and uh, she's asked india's council general in frankfurt to uh, write a report on this uh, and to give her all the details as far as this incident is concerned, uh, uh, until more details emerge, Minister of External Affairs says we will speak to uh, airport authorities uh, in Frankfurt, find out details. What we are also being told is that authorities in Frankfurt are seeking more details uh, as to when this happened, what time, so that uh, they can look at CCTV camera images, they can speak to uh, airport security officials and find out why this happened. Because Prime of uh, according to them, this is not standard operating procedure. Mm. But was it something that triggered an alarm? Uh, was it because of the color of the skin? All of these are still being verified. Uh, but once again, the government, uh, you know, government sources telling India Today, Ankit, that it is... Uh, the officer on ground it is his discretion if something triggers an alarm if something uh, uh, you know raises suspicion mm. uh, they they are entitled to carry out the security checks uh, keeping in mind the the situation uh, in the world and especially in europe at this stage mm. but that, was it only because of the color of the skin of this individual yes. uh, since she was traveling with a four-year-old child and so on that remains to be seen yes you know that's a very pertinent point that you're making Gaurav of course uh, there is some sort of a paranoia as far as the security across Europe is concerned there have been repeated attacks uh, uh, claimed by ISIS uh, it not only uh, you know in uh, in uh, in France in England uh, so there is a sense of heightened security but would it be difficult for this woman uh, just in case of the government of India to in any way prove that it was racial profiling was undue or as you said the discretion lies for or, uh, with the officer on the ground uh, so possibly it will be it, it will be you know uh, nothing substantial coming out of it so as far as government of India is concerned my sources say that they're constantly trying to raise awareness globally uh, when it comes to the Indian passengers also and when it comes to airport authorities and security uh, agencies across the world uh, but you know what's happening across Europe. Uh, uh, you know, they don't make a distinction. Uh, security forces don't make a distinction uh, whether it's a man or a woman or somebody with a child. Uh, we've seen terrorists take advantage of every situation in the past. Mm. Uh, sensitization is point one, but security comes paramount. Uh, that is what uh, airport authorities across the world say. Sensitization is all that government of India can do as far as Indian nationals are concerned. Also, as far as uh, you know, uh, the, these people are concerned, yeah. uh, uh, airport security officials across uh, the world are concerned. It's the color of the passport. Now, recently, you remember India Today broke a story about the Pakistani passport being the second most suspicious passport across the world. Yes, um, and uh, that is that is a fact. The moment there's a Pakistani passport, there are additional checks. But why should this happen to an Indian passport? 
is the question that uh, you know uh, requires more looking into and more sensitization thank you so much Gaurav, for, for joining us with all those uh, uh, details uh, we'll keep coming back to you for more as this story develops